Okay, so we are out mushroom picking and I am looking for the scaly hedgehog mushroom. And I'm showing you this one because it's pretty hard to get this guy mixed up with other mushrooms um, that will potentially harm you drastically. So the scaly hedgehog, if you look, almost looks like it has shingles, brown shingles. It's usually tan in color. They grow quite large, or if I get this little guy right here, they can also be quite small. You see, it almost looks like it has scales or shingles on it, and that's why they call it the scaly hedgehog. The other unique factor, especially if you're picking these, and very important factor, is that they don't have gills. They have teeth. So if you look here, it's like a fuzz, a very, very soft, velvety fuzz. Uh, so they're teeth and not gills. And they go down the spine, so as you can see, it's not detached. I wish I had a gill mushroom right nearby here. There's 50 mushrooms, but they're all teeth. <laughs> but anyway, so this is the scaly hedgehog. These are actually quite dense. So when you fry them up with a bit of garlic and uh, mushrooms, sorry, they are mushrooms, garlic and onions, um, they don't get shriveled down into nothing. So like they, they stay quite meaty and quite dense. So you can just fry them up and eat them. You can dehydrate them. Uh, you can boil and freeze them after you've cut them up. Um, or I once did uh, cut the stem off, uh, cooked it, cooked the whole thing up in the oven with a pile of cheese and all the good stuff to put on a pizza. It was a very interesting mushroom pizza. Anyway, scaly hedgehogs. So we found a whole pile of shaggy manes. And this is the place where they, I think, grow. Yeah, they, they grow in lots of different places, but you can see them popping up everywhere. We picked most of them. But what is really cool about a shaggy mane, if you grab them really hard by the stem and pinch and pull them up, they look shaggy. So they're called a shaggy mane and they eventually open up and then umbrella out and turn black. But you have to pick them really fast because if you don't pick them right away, they turn black right away. And then you can fry these up. Um, they're, they grow in clumps like this and they can grow by themselves as well. So pick some of these ones. Yeah, and we're gonna have a lot of shaggy manes to eat tonight. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And as you can see, there can be it can be small and they can be big. Yeah, some of them go quite big. But even if they're small or big, you want to pick them right away. Yeah, they don't last long. They will not wait for you. Nope. Because who wants to get eaten? I'm sure you wouldn't want to get eaten. Okay, here's a honey mushroom. So the honey mushrooms, you can see they've got like a, a black fur on them. They're not slimy at all. They're kind of fuzzy. Are we and uh, I don't know if this is a ringed one or not. Drop it. It's an unringed Drop one. It. And they're white. And if I look over here, here's a big plume of honey mushrooms. Here, so they always grow in batches like this. So we're gonna harvest these guys. And Rex says he found some over here. I think they are. But how they are they eating some? Don't eat that. All right. So how do you know this is a honey mushroom, Rex? Tell me how. Well, don't because you were just went over there and said it was such a honey mushroom, and I'm like, okay, but okay. So what are things about this that make it a honey mushroom? So. See, they have those black hairs. Can I touch it? Yeah, you can touch it. Yeah. And if you feel it, it's not too slippery. And there are definitely birch See, stumps around can here. Can you feel it? That's actually yeah. kind of slippery. No, no. Wait. No, wait. There. Yeah, that's okay. That's just the dew. I promise you. Now, if I turn it upside down, so let's pick it. And we're going to turn it upside down and see what color it is underneath. So Probably no. Check it out. See how white they are? And we're gonna, and also their stalks are kind of shaggy looking. And so this is a ringed mushroom, ringed honey mushroom, because it's gonna leave this ring as it grows. So there's one, and there's one, and there's a big batch. There's some behind Harley's butt over here. <laughs> so let's pick these guys. Okay, so this is a look-alike for uh, that people get mixed up with the honey mushrooms all the time. Number one, it's slimy on top. Honey mushrooms are never slimy. They have fine hairs on them. Number two, it has this really big protrusion that um, kind of reminds me of like a zit or something on the top. Um, 
The other thing is when I turn it upside down, it's darker underneath, which means it's gonna likely give uh, darker colored spores uh, if I took it home and did a spore print. So this is a mushroom, an Anamita, I believe, that people get mixed up with the honey mushroom all the time. And this one will make you extremely sick. So you really must know what your honey mushrooms are. See, no black hairs on the top, no furry hairs on the top. And it has a protrusion and it's slimy. And, and also that doesn't mean that all of those other um, lookalikes um, aren't as poisoning as that, but aren't every lookalike poisonous? Uh, the lookalikes for the honey mushrooms? Like, like aren't th uh, every mush, like, lookalike for all mushrooms, like, always really sick? They can make you, they all can make you sick. The ones that are really the lookalikes to the honey mushroom, yes. So, no, I mean, like, um, every single, um... Edible mushroom? Lookalike mushroom. Like, uh, they're all very sick. It depends on the mushroom. But you're with the honey mushrooms, yes. Well, this is my mom. She's always the one that like does me with the honey mushrooms. So we found some more lookalikes. But so, that's not all. No, that's not all. So I'm just going to talk about this lookalike, and this is why you should never ever pick mushrooms without somebody who really knows what they do, because this looks so similar to a honey mushroom, but again, it's slippery on top. And at the bottom. And if I look, that's definitely going to be a dark spore print. This is the really super toxic lookalike. So never take that. Don't do that with your finger, please. Okay. Okay, up here. So here's the, maybe not so close. Back up a little bit. Thank you. So the other really cool thing about mushrooms is mushrooms is, uh, they're actually the fruit of a plant life um, that goes underground. So it's not really a plant but an organism that grows under the ground like a big long root. And so that root is called mycelia and it spreads way far across the, the oceans, the ocean, the bush floor, the forest floors. And um, some of them are only a few feet. There are mycelia, like the roots of the, the, the plant itself that can grow like sometimes many, many, many kilometers. So from my yard to my neighbor's yard, to the neighbor yard, to the neighbor yard, and they'll pop their mushrooms up along that mycelia throughout. So when I see this plant here, this, this is like the fruit of that mycelia right here, this toxic mushroom that will make you sick. And right along the mycelia, it'll grow and grow and grow more and more mushrooms. And also, can I say something? Sure, and then I'll talk about the... So look at this. So this is a tree, right? Well, anyways, there's some trees. You're probably wondering. It, it is, well, you're probably not, but you might come to it sometimes, maybe. Must be hard to, like, live without communicating by being trees, but they actually can communicate. Yes. As we were saying, those mushrooms are also helpful. Then here's another reason that you can, if you care really care about nature, here's another reason you don't want to pick those poisonous mushrooms. It's because if there were no mushrooms, the trees would not be able to communicate. They're yes. basically like um, a telephone. telephone. For, from so tree like, to tree. So the, like, not the mushrooms, the mycelia that grow, that grow the mushrooms yep. act like telephones between the trees. So basically, see that mushroom? The mycelia, let's say, might go to those trees again. And it might go, let's say, to uh, that tree. If, it, if the mycelia went that far, those three trees would be able to go, laddy, 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 talky, talk, talk, talk. Mm hmm. Just put it back on me. All right. Put, move your fingers. Not so close. Bottom back up. And so with the mycelia, the trees being able to communicate. Sometimes if there's a disease that's coming that's going to attack the trees or um, some kind of bug, the trees will actually warn the other trees that are sharing the mycelia uh, that this danger is coming to them so that the trees can start protecting themselves. 
Um, trees also communicate through their pollen, but that's a whole other thing. This is a mushroom video. But yeah, mycelia is like a telephone wire for trees, which is super cool. Okay. Right there. Oh. So this is ghost pipe. Should we take them? No, because they're already too old. So ghost pipe is actually not a true mushroom, but it is associated with the fungi. And uh, you can use that as medicine, but you have to make a tincture out of it, which we're not going to get into detail. But I just wanted to show you this ghost pipe. And as they're growing, they're really cool because they look like little tinker bells at first with beautiful little flowers. And then they turn into this. It's a ghost pipe. Well, we have not found this mushroom in a super long time. Pretty rare. This is a yellow chanterelle. And I think you can see why you think um, other mushrooms, like let's say the jack-o'-lantern, Mm -hmm. How people get mixed up with this one and the milky mushroom, whatever it's called. Um, so, so what are the this, attributes of this mushroom? Look here. See how that is melted? And also if you find one and you feel it. The, the, the gills don't break off. And look, it. the gills go all the way down. And it has a wavy cap. Yeah. So it, once you look at this, you're probably getting hungry because I know I am. <laughs> well, let's, if there's one chanterelle, there might be more. So let's take a peek around. Are we going? Yep. Okay. So we found some chanterelles, some violet chanterelles, not the yellow chanterelles. That's these guys right here. They usually get much, much bigger. Like about each one will get about this big and they'll have like a silvery purpley um, top and almost like a plate so this is getting out that's what frills out but what's really interesting and you can pick them now is their gills look like they're kind of melted and that's their gills so if you remember the jack-o'-lantern you could rub and they'd break off not chanterelles so this is a violet chanterelle these are very edible they are delicious and you can oh here's some bigger ones right here oh there's a whole bunch of them here's a nice big one just make sure you're not stepping on the good ones there Look at this. Here's an example of one that's starting to leaf out there. And you can see a better example of their gills here. So you just pick them and you see how they frill out. This is a beautiful chanterelle. So, and you can see it's uh, more yellowy, silvery in there, but kind of purpley on the underside. You fry these up with butter and they are delicious. Okay, you can turn it off now. Okay. We so here's another mushroom here, the spotted gem. Yes. If, you, if you are listening to all of our other videos, you might be like, when is there going to be edible ones? Mm -hmm. Well, here's edible ones. Here's an edible These one. These are spotted gems. They are edible. They and are. Again, you have to cook them if you want to yeah. eat them. And So it's kind of like a puff ball, so it doesn't have that lip of a mushroom. It's uh, like a pear-shaped puffball, and it always has these, like it's almost sandy on the top. So this one was eaten by a slug, and it's just a small, but you can see more growing here. In a couple of days from now, this spot, maybe even by tomorrow, this spot will have a lot of puffballs, the spotted gems. Um, you mean and, spotted gems, not puffballs. Well, but the spotted gem is a puffball. Oh. So once they fully flush, you can pick them, but you have to make sure that they're pure white on the inside. If they're starting to turn yellow even just a little bit, they're not good to eat anymore. So if a slug wouldn't have ate that one, it we would have my mom probably would have took that one and ate it. Yeah. Well we can find some more spotted gems on this trail, I bet. Let's see. Yeah, I bet we can. So here's another variety of a puff ball. This is a pear shaped puff ball. Um, and they are edible. So as you can see they they're brown, but when you pop them open, so this one's starting to show signs of yellowing, so it's not good anymore. And it's spongy on the inside. They can't see the yellow. Okay. Maybe they have to go a bit closer. Yeah, do you see that? Like right about, let me see. Sorry if my finger's hanging in the way. So this is my pinky, like right about there. Yeah, it's starting to turn yellow. Let's see if we can find a different one that's yeah, these ones are too old to pick already. 
Yeah, to see those ones. So if I open up this guy, I bet you he's, oh yeah, see, he's really yellow. Yeah, he's way too old. Yeah, so we found these guys too late. But if you find them when they're still white, let's see if I can find a white one. I bet you this guy's still white on the inside. Oh yeah, so this guy's pure white on the inside. He's totally fine. The other thing with puff balls, before you just go ahead and eat all the ones you find, is you split them open so you can make sure that they're white and firm on the inside. And also, never, ever eat, if it has a mushroom, pattern shaped uh, on the, in the inside it could be a death angel which is the most poisonous uh, mushroom in the whole world i think well i don't know in the whole world but it's yeah but it's yeah. one of them um, yeah so like and then yeah this guy's spongy and he's can, turning yellow and it can start like um i don't know what i'm looking at here like start um shutting down your body like bit by bit and in two hours you're done well so here these are milky mushrooms yeah it's because and when, when you squish them they kind of give it all oh, these ones are old but they give like a white sticky substance and you need to cook them a special way and but are they delicious mom no they're not um and they're really hard to cook uh, and these are way too old. But people get these mixed up with chanterelles and jack-o'-lanterns. So jack-o'-lanterns and chanterelles, they kind of, they, they all look very familiar, similar to each other, to these guys. Um, jack-o'-lanterns are highly toxic. Not so close to my face, please. Uh, these guys are somewhat edible if you know how to cook them properly. And chanterelles are delicious if you can find them. But chanterelles look like they have melted gills and not rigid gills like this. If you look, these break off really easy. A chanterelle wouldn't do that. Um, yeah, the slugs really like them. Betcha you, you can, I can see a whole pile of them. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight slugs already. Oh, nine. And never follow the slugs with mushrooms because they can eat any kind of mushroom they want. So we found another edible mushroom. We found the bullet. Yep, we found a bullet. Don't worry, it has nothing to do with bulls. <laughs> <laughs> bulls or bullets. If, so, Shep, if you're watching this video, do please don't be sad that it's not a bull. Okay. So, as you can also see, this is a bullet and... It's edible. And see this? It's kind of scaly here. I don't know the, what the lookalikes look like. I haven't they don't have lookalikes. Oh, so these don't have look like that. And they don't have gills. Mm -hmm. And also, if you feel this, it's kind of like a sponge. And it looks like a sponge. Even if you look close, you can see little tiny holes in there. This one's way too old. We won't yeah. eat that. And also, I think that... It's been eaten by a slug. Yeah. So the other thing about bullets is they are all edible, but some of them are really bitter. So usually, this is one of the rare mushrooms you can actually take the tiniest little nibble raw. And you'll know right away whether it's a, uh, a, a bitter one or not. But yeah, you can take it home, clean it up. This one's obviously far too old. You'll see when you break them open too. I bet you this one's got black starting on the inside. It's also a sign that they're too old. And there's little bugs that live inside. I'm gonna crack this guy open. Yeah, it's starting to turn black on the inside. It's so way too old. But when you see it, then you can see like the, where the pore, spores are kept, right in here in the spongy area. And you can kind of see the spongy holes. Oh, and look at all the bugs coming out. Did you see that? Yep. Neat, eh? Yep. So that's their home. They're snacking on this guy. Anyway, that's a bullet. We found more. There's another bullet right there. I kind of tear it apart because I was like, yeah. what is this? This one, you can really see the sponginess, right? Do you think people, kids should pick them and eat them just because I said it, that sometimes you can test their bitterness no. by putting a little bit in your mouth? Should you still try them? No. Should you? No, exactly. Because they, you There's could one. Maybe actually. There's another one. Um, I'm not going to pick much. this one. I'm just going to feel underneath. Yeah, it's a bullet. I can feel the sponge. But how much in, how much Well, I think he's a good one. Pick them. Well, no, because we're not eating them tonight. 
It'd be like all those shaggy manes that we saw at the other park. We don't need them, so we leave them. We leave them for the animals and the slugs and everything else that will eat them tonight. By tomorrow, this guy will be full of bugs living off of him. I mean, it's starting to go bad. But look at this beauty. So they grow in the, usually in the softwood. Where there's one, there's usually lots. Bright, nice orange color. They push up through the moss, curly. No real stem on them. That is a nice lobster mushroom. Look at it. It's perfect. Never ever pick these though without an adult. You must have an adult who knows how to identify them. And never eat them raw. Never eat any wild mushroom raw. 